Welcome back. I'm Dustin. And I'm Leslie. And we're the Wayward Wags. If you have not seen one of our most recent videos, we were full-time RVers. We lived and traveled full-time on the road with yep. no safety net. Nope. <laughs> no home, no backup, just lived down on the road. Yeah. But we recently came off the road, bought a house, and we're doing our first video in our new studio in the house. So we're not so wayward. Not so, well, we're still wayward. Slightly wayward. Just not traveling. Yeah. Yeah. So we're still unpredictable and shifty and shasty. You never know what we're going to do. <laughs> yeah. Especially you. <laughs> so today we are talking all about... Because I know it's scary for people when they go full-time RVing. Yeah. We are talking about RV disasters okay. that never happened to us. <laughs> but <laughs> these things happen to a lot of people. And sometimes yes. it scares people from even jumping into the full-time RV lifestyle. That's true. Because these things are scary. And you see these these big, bold headlines and thumbnails on YouTube videos of catastrophes and yeah. crazy things that have gone on for people who are on the road full-time. And yeah. we want to tell you that even if those things do happen to you, you can work through them. But I would say for the most part, you're not going to experience all that stuff. You might have That's one true. or two things go wrong. If you do, you might want to rethink RV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'll kick it off. The first okay. first big thing that never happened to us was we never had a flat tire on the RV. Yeah. Or a blowout. Thank God. We did have flats on the truck. Yeah. But oh, not while driving. Not while driving, no. And it only happened same campground, twice. Yeah. <laughs> so we learned our lesson. We never went back to that campground again. Yeah, there's bad juju <laughs> there. We just, beautiful park, but we can't go there. And you know you've seen these videos where people have blowouts and it just rips their RV apart. Yeah. Just destroys it. Takes that wheel well off. And we were really, really scared about that. Yeah. And so we got our, our TPMS mm -hmm. system. Yes. And it only went off once. That's right. But And that was self-inflicted. Yeah, it was. Because it was cold outside and the pressures were reading low, so I put some more air pressure in it. And then when we got driving, the air pressure's built up. And it's like, yeah. too much air pressure, guy. Yeah. You got to pull over and let some <laughs> air out. Yeah. And because none of that stuff ever happened to us, that leads to number two, which was we've never been towed. Well, the truck has been towed. Well, yeah. <laughs> but the RV was never towed. And that's yeah. a that's a big deal because a lot of these tow companies really don't know what they're doing. Yeah. And they can destroy your stuff. And then you're sitting on the side of the road. And sitting on the side of the road is We've dangerous. we friends sit there for hours. Yeah, and it always takes them a long time. And then sometimes they'll show up and be like, oh, I didn't know that your trailer was this big. Yeah. I got to call not a friend <laughs> to help me. Or... Yeah. I got to call a different truck out because I wasn't, I didn't know. And yeah. your insurance company doesn't always know either. Uh, they're not well versed in campers. Yeah. So you have the insurance, the roadside assistance, which not is great. Kidding. But what they don't tell you yeah. is, we'll be there in 10 hours with the wrong equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's true. So that's a good one. Yeah. The next thing is, and this was, I, I, I say a nod to me. Most tip, of the, tip of the hat to most me. Most of the things that have happened are a tip of the hat to you. <laughs> but this is a good, a, an RV disaster avoidance that's a tip of the hat okay. to me. And that's, we never hit anything. Yeah. With the RV. Yeah. You always hear these these horror stories about tail swing and mm -hmm. people hitting poles in, in parking lots. think they had the clearance right. Mm, didn't not have the so clearance. Much. Yeah. <laughs> um, trees, people we know have backed into trees. trees. When they're backed into their site, get a little too, a little too close. It, yeah. Hit the ladder or hit the camper. Camera was or deceiving. Something. Uh, people, we've, we've watched people in campgrounds hit picnic tables. Yes. Fire pits. Yes. Other vehicles. <laughs> yes. Now, I will say we haven't avoided everything. We have hit some curbs. We did a little curb surfing. A little curb surfing, but that's kind of to be expected. I think if you RV long enough, you're going to hit some curbs. But Just because in some turns, mostly those right-handers, yeah. you can't always swing out as far as you want because there's three other lanes for the traffic coming the other direction. Yeah, but it was never bad enough to cause any damage. Yeah. Never did any damage to any landing no, gears. No. We did knock off uh, one of our snap, snap pads pad once. once. That was year one. But it never, it didn't. And that's just because there was a big dip. Where like, was yeah. like this drainage thing. And there was a dip. So and I didn't see the dip. It, so it dipped. and popped the, it right off. Yeah, but it didn't do any damage. So no. we so never lucky. hit anything. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. And we've never had an awning issue. Yeah, we've heard crazy stories. We're like, 
maiden voyage, first time out, leaving the park, left the awning out, ripped it off by a tree. (laughs) Yes. Or people will leave their awnings out and then go to town. Yes. Not expecting there to be any and that weather. Was, that's one of our biggest things. If we're not home, the awning is in. Yeah. There's no exception. I don't care if it's anchored down, you've got it ratchet strapped down to the ground. Yeah. If you're not home, don't leave it out. Or if we went to bed, it would go in also. Because you yeah. just never know. I mean, sometimes those high winds, they'll just come out of nowhere. You'll get like a little microburst yeah. storm that'll come out of nowhere that no one's expecting. And then you come home and your awning is destroyed. Yeah. And those things are just a pain in the butt. Yeah. To get ordered, to get fixed, or you know, I'd have to pay and somebody. We've, we've watched a professional fix one, and it didn't look fun. I helped. <laughs> you stood there and held a ladder. I <laughs> handed him tools. And handed him tools. Let's be real. You didn't help. <laughs> I fixed it on him once. You did the, uh, you did the first sergeant stuff, which is supervise. Just I'm really good at that. Stay there and supervise. <laughs> All right, the next big RV disaster that never happened to us was we've never had any storm damage to the RV. No. Which is crazy because we were on the road for five years, and we have had some some pretty good-sized storms. Yes. We've been in hail. Yeah, and I thought that might be where we'd get some damage. Out in Wyoming, we had hail. Mm -hmm. We've had high winds all over the place. Yeah. Um, And then we've been close to tornadoes. Mm -hmm. So we've had some debris that's been flying around. We've had earthquakes. And we even had the RV parked... In a hurricane one time. Yes. Was that two Christmases ago? Yeah. And it, it did. It shifted the RV yeah. on the pad. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the Valterra stabilizers that were under yeah. were no longer in the right we position. We didn't stay in the RV. We went to stay with your sister because yeah, I was like, we're not getting it. It was hitting overnight. And I was like, we're not going to get any sleep. No. So we'll stay with your sisters. And we yeah. came back and the RV was shifted. Shifted. Yeah. I'm like, I'm glad we didn't stay here. <laughs> yes. Also glad that the RV is okay. Which will lead us into another thing that never happened. Yeah. We've never been left homeless. Close. (laughs) Yeah. Close a couple times. And that's the danger of not having a home base. Yes. Is if something happens, you got nowhere to go. Yeah. And we almost had that happen during COVID because we were in New Orleans when COVID hit and everything was shutting down. People were calling us up, canceling our reservations. Yeah. The campground that we were at was kicking us out. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, crap. What do we do? We got we got no home base. We got nowhere to go. Yeah. So that scared us a little bit. Did we put did a little find a place. Pep in our step. And we had to stay for like six weeks. Six weeks we stayed there. Yeah. So there are, that is scary. But we've never yeah. been homeless. And then on the back end of our full-time RV adventures, we had, you know, we had the solium, we had the lithium, mm-hmm. or the solar and the lithium. Yeah. So... Even if we were homeless for a few days, we'd still be okay. True. Even up to a week or so. But that was on the tail end of our time. Yeah. And so. that then we start running into water issues. Yeah. But luckily, fingers crossed, knock on wood, <laughs> never been never been homeless. <laughs> Although some people think that if you're a full time RVer, you, you, you are, are homeless. homeless. Yeah. That's <laughs> but, true too. <laughs> but you're not. We did we'd have a place to live always. Yeah. Um now, these last, we got some bonus stuff for you. Okay. Some bonus things that never happened. These aren't disasters, but just things that we've talked about in our videos as we were traveling. Yeah. And this thing that, that we said would never happen or likely would never happen. And, and it was true. It never happened. So, yeah, some stay true. And we did a, a full video on one that said we would never <laughs> stay at a KOA. Yeah. And we didn't. Yeah. We never stayed. And not because they're not... Nice campgrounds. It was expensive, or man. Yes. I am I'm sorry. I'm an enlisted army wife. <laughs> we are frugal. <laughs> splurge where you really want to splurge in life, yeah. that's not a place I'm willing to splurge. Because we're not all about all those amenities there. That's a family yeah. place to me. It is. KOAs are family places. And then let's face it, also on the weekends. It gets a little crazy. It is. It's flooded with families and kids running around and being loud and playing music loud. And it's just, it's not what we find relaxing because yeah. we don't go out on weekends. That was our thing. Yeah. We explore during the week, stay at the campground on the weekends while everyone else is out. So we don't out. want the campground to be loud on the weekends while we're home. Yeah. So, so never stayed at a KOA. Yeah, we just never stayed. And the other thing is, Leslie never drove. Let no, me, I never, didn't. Never told. I'm still bitter about it. <laughs> I, I, I would have major anxiety. I think you had anxiety just talking I about did. the thoughts of me driving. Because people would ask us all the time, "Hey, is Leslie, Leslie ever going to tow this thing? She, she ever? We gonna... ever going to see her pull it? Nope. No, he won't allow it. 
And what did you used to say? <laughs> I Not that I wanted anything to happen to you. God, God knows I don't want that. But it's kind of like, I wish something would happen to him. <laughs> so then I had to move us, and he no. had no choice but to let me drive. We wouldn't move. We would just live there now. <laughs> just protest. Like, we just, I'm if, not moving. If, we, if I get hurt, I can't tell. This is where we live. <laughs> we just we, we semi-permanently live here till, That's right. till you're I healed. Get better. <laughs> That's just and crazy. if I never heal, then you just got to hire somebody to move it to wherever See, you yeah. want to end up for your final destination. <laughs> Problem solved. Wow. No, I would have been seriously sitting in the passenger seat. You would have. Ju- just yeah. twitching. I wouldn't have been able to relax. You would have needed lots of drugs to knock you out. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, that would have been fun to film, though. That's all of our <laughs> RV disasters that never happened to us. So, if you're going to, if you're thinking about going mm-hmm. full time, if you're pondering it back and forth with your partner, or whatever, don't be that scared of all this stuff. It's yeah. over dramatized on YouTube. Some of it. I mean, because we weren't even good at it, <laughs> <laughs> the moving around, and we didn't have these catastrophes. No, but I was so just. So is it luck or? I was extra careful on travel days. Yeah. I always paid close attention. We had our checklist yeah. that we always followed. We never mm-hmm. moved until everything was checked <laughs> off. So there was yeah. that limited a, a lot of these issues, like True. awning issues and all that stuff. So, yeah. you know, we made sure. And then you were a good spotter when we were parking. Yeah. And we had cameras and we had communications cones. and we had cones. And so... A lot of that stuff. If you put Alleviate some controls it. in place, yeah, you can avoid a lot of this stuff. Yeah, we just we know ourselves. Yeah, and so we took every precaution to make sure <laughs> ourselves didn't show up. I mean, if we would have just winged it, every one of these things probably would have happened to every us. Every other video would have been a look what we did. Yeah. So, <laughs> and maybe that's the problem. Maybe some of these newer RVers who are starting channels and getting out there making all these all these mistakes, maybe yeah. they just don't think it through maybe they don't plan I although don't i think the overconfident make the That's most true mistakes oh, yeah, i've I been doing this. this for 20 some years i, I hauled rigs my whole life i know it. and then bam <laughs> <laughs> you just, it's good to be confident yeah it's, experience is good but sometimes you get a little too confident yeah Oh, I, I just remembered one. It's not even on our list. We have what? our notes back here, but I'm going to throw it in here anyway. We never, and we did have, we did have the regular hitch for several years before we went the to, slider to the yeah. uh, Gen Y. We never dropped the trailer on the truck. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a good, that's a good one too, we, right there. We know people who have. Yeah, yeah, we've seen like the crushed beds and the mangled even tailgates. Po- walking through parks sometimes when we take night walks, like oh, and you see they dropped somebody's it. tailgate. You're like, oh, I know what happened. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you totally know they dropped it on there. It's awesome to see. <laughs> anyway, that's it. No more bonuses. We're getting out of here. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help mm-hmm. us, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.